The example that we just did previously illustrates the three steps that we're going to use for all equilibrium type problems. That would be this chapter as well as chapters in the future. The first thing you're going to always do is you're going to set up a table of concentrations, which is your starting, your change, and your equilibrium expressions. Basically, your ice table. Okay, we will set up an ice table. Next, you will basically substitute the expressions of x into that x, x, equilibrium concentrations into the equilibrium constant equation, meaning you kc, ka, kb, ksp, whatever the case may be. And then lastly, you will solve for that x. Okay, solve for that equilibrium value of the concentrations and plug that back in and solve for the values we're looking for. So pretty much ice table, k problem, solve for x. Let's look at another example. Okay, this time I'm going to use partial pressures instead of, of Kc. Initial pressure of C is one atmosphere. What would be the partial pressure of each species at equilibrium? I have A plus B gives me 2C. Kp is 9.0. Okay, now I mentioned to you earlier and said I'm not going to make you go from Kc to Kp. If I give you atmospheres, then I'm going to give you Kp. If I give you molarities, I'm going to give you Kc. But I do want you to realize that Kp and Kc are not equal. Okay. But I also want you to realize if you write down the expression of something, I want you to put partial pressure raised to some power and not concentration. Concentration would be Kc, partial pressure would be Kp. Um, writing down the information, we're going to have to do our ice table here. Okay, I got my I, my C, and my E. I'll set up my initials. I have an initial of one atmosphere for C and zero for A and B. Now realize I put whatever is given to me. I don't take into account the coefficients. That's basically I got one atmosphere. That's all I have. Okay, zero and zero. I need to decide which way this is going to shift. Well, since I have no reactants here, then it has to go which way? It's going to have to go to the left. If it goes to the left, then what's going to happen to my signs? Well, for my C, it's going to be minus. Okay, and it's going to be pluses for the A's and the B's on the reactant side. It has to be going to the left. And this is where I said, okay, we're going to read this reaction left to right. And we're going to continue to keep the products on the numerator and the reactants in the denominator. We're not going to flip this reaction. We're going to handle this reaction just like it is written here. If we happen to flip the reaction, then you've got to do the reciprocal of K. We want to go ahead and use the K that we got. So we're going to let the signs plus and minuses handle that. Okay, so we're going to handle this problem just like it is, products over reactants with that Kp. We're not flipping it. Okay, so then i got to figure out what is going to be my relationship here. Well, if I consume up 2C, um, uh, say 2X, okay, then how much B will be produced? X, and how much A? X, going by the coefficients. So you have X, X, and 2X. Well, what do I have at equilibrium? Well, 0 plus x is x, 0 plus x is x, and 1 minus 2x. So how are these related? All these values are related through some relationship, and they're related through something called Kp in this case. So let's set up Kp. Kp then is your partial pressure of C to the second power divided by partial pressure of A divided by partial pressure B. Remember I said Kp, I want it written with partial pressures, not concentrations, because this is partial pressures. So now we're going to plug those values in. I'll plug in my Pc, which is going to be 1 minus 2x, that whole thing squared. Pa is x, and Pb is x. Or simplifying this, 1 minus 2x squared divided by x squared is equal to 9.0. I can go to the quadratic formula, or since this is a perfect square, I can go into do my square root of both sides. Okay, when I do the square root of both sides, I get 1 minus 2x over x is equal to 3. Mathematically, what would I do next? Well, let's multiply x by both sides to get rid of that x in the numer denominator. Now let's continue on with x and combine them onto one side. So let's add 2x to both sides. So now I get... 1 is equal to 3x plus 2x. That way I'm getting rid of that 2x up here by adding 2x to both sides. That gets rid of that. Which then adding up gives me 5x. And then I want to get rid of that 5 and leave x by itself. So I'll divide by 
5 on both sides, which gets me x is equal to 0.20. Once again, I need to put a unit on that, so I'm dealing in pressure, so I'll put atmospheres. Not my final answer. I still need to plug that back into my equilibrium expressions. So to find my partial pressure of A, it's the same as partial pressure of B, which is X, which is 0.2 atmospheres. And my C, 1 minus 2X is what we said is the partial pressure of C. So I have 1 minus 2 times 0.2, which is the 0.6 atmospheres. Remember sig figs as you do this. This is based on um, decimal place because it's subtraction. So this is to the tens place. Okay, so my answer has to stay to the tens place because this is a subtraction. Here's my answers, 0.2 for B and A and 0.6 for C. If I plug it into my equilibrium equation, plug those values back into here, I should get an answer that's close to 9. As I said, plus or minus on that uncertainty digit. Homework, 20. This deals with everything going from reactants and products, products going to reactants, going to the left. Okay, once again, make sure you understand why these are pluses on one side, minuses on the other side.